bangsa dipandu oleh si anak muda. Hadir tuan-puan meriah suasana kami menyambut penuh gembira. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang dihormati Datuk Muhammad Datuk Dr Muhammad Ustaz Mahmud, Ketua Jabatan ONG Hospital Ustaz Abah ya. Ketua-ketua jabatan, pakar-pakar perubatan, pegawai-pegawai perubatan, matron, sisters, para jururawat seterusnya tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam satu Malaysia. Saya Dr. Farida binti Syamsuddin, selaku wakil dari Jabatan OAG ingin mengucapkan selamat datang kepada para hadirin ke perhimpunan CMP kita pada pagi ini. Alhamdulillah, bersyukur kita pada pagi ini dengan izin serta limpah rahmatnya dapat kita berkumpul di auditorium hospital setelah bayar ini untuk sama-sama berkongsi ilmu dalam usaha untuk menambah ilmu pengetahuan yang seterusnya membantu kita dalam memberikan perkhidmatan yang terbaik kepada pesakit. Pada hari ini, tiba di dalam jabatan ONG, Hospital Setanah Bayar untuk menyampaikan ceramah CMB. Daun sunulur di pekan sari, jatuh ditimpa buah berangan. Morbidly adherent placenta, tajuk diberi. Moga bermanfaat buat pedoman. Tanpa melengahkan masa lagi, saya dengan penuh rasa berbesar hati ingin menjemput Dr. Rosliza Syafi'i, Pakar Obstetric and Gynecology Hospital Setanah Bayar untuk menyampaikan ceramah siang ini beliau dengan segala hormatnya di persilatan. Of the baby, 
the 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 placenta, the uh, the the, the wound will be sutured back, and then it proceeds straight to the hysterectomy. We can see from this specimen, the uh, lower segment of the uterus is very, uh, is um, bulging out. Uh, the whole area of this uh, is uh, contain a placenta, and we can see a few pockets of a very thin serosa surface. It seems like the placenta is merely extruding out from the like uh, uh, entrance serosa. Okay, alhamdulillah, we managed to minimize the blood loss to about 1.5 liters of blood. Ma uh, majority in uh, placenta, mostly adherent placenta, that uh, most of patients will have uh, will lost about three to five liters of blood, and usually need ICU uh, addition. And then she did, did it, uh, recovered well post delivery and we managed to avoid ICU admission. HPE of the uterus reported as placenta previa major with placenta intrita invaded into the pyometrium up to 1 mm from the transirosa. Now I will proceed. What is a morbidly adherent placenta? Adherent placenta occurs when there is a defect in the deciduous basilis resulting in abnormal invasion of the placenta directly into the substance of the uterus. There are two types of uh, adherent placenta, simple type of adherent placenta and morbidly adherent placenta. In a simple type, usually uh, patient will present as a written placenta after delivery during the third stage. So then in this patient, we need to remove the placenta manually. In a morbidly adherent placenta, there are three class. Type 1 or placenta ultrita. So the myometrium, the, 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 the placenta is adhered to the uterine myometrium because of the absence of the deciduous layers to separate the placenta and the uh, uterine wall. It accounts about 75 to 78% of cases. In a second case, ultrita, which accounts about 70% of cases, the placenta usually Invade into the uterine myometrium. And in the severe case of a morbidly adherent placenta, which is placenta perpetual, which account about 5% of cases, the placenta invade beyond the uterine serosa and sometimes to, to the adjacent pelvic organ, especially to the uterine uh, urinary bladder or your uh, ureter. The incident of a morbidly adherent placenta is on the rising trend. In 1977, the incident is published about 1 in 7,000 deliveries. In, 2000, in 1994, Miller and colleagues reported an incident of abnormal placenta of 1 in 2,500 for a 10 year period at their center, and it increasing to 1 in 500 over a 20 year period and in 2002 as reported by Wu and colleagues. How about our local data? The incident is safe on the transient trend. Our, in this hospital, our incident is about 1 in 1,200 deliveries. It should be equal to 0 0.8 per 1,000 deliveries. This, is, uh, this data is about 2, 000, uh, in the 2013 to 2015. We have almost 11, uh, 10 to 11 cases per year. What is the risk factor for morbidly adherent placenta? The single most, the single most risk factor is a caesarean section. All over the world, the caesarean section is on increasing trend. Uh, placenta, uh, other risk factor is about uh, placenta previa or with or without scar. Previous with trans surgery such as myomectomy, DNC, or MRP, and septic endometritis. In a large prospective observation study that considered the number of prior caesarean deliveries and the presence or absence of placenta previa, the risk of placenta pita was increased. We can see increase, uh, with increase in the number of caesarean section, even without placenta previa, the number of only adherent placenta on the rising trend. If you have more than six, uh, six or more caesarean uh, scar, so the risk of morbidly adherent placenta over 5%. Even if you have placenta previa with a scar, so the risk after third scar, almost more than 50% of 
human will have cognitive and human placenta. And this is a very, very important. What is the ideology behind the formation of a, uh, a mobility and human placenta? This is because defective in the decibel formation. Are the partial or total absent in the decibel basilis, as well as imperfect development of the fibrinoid layer, which causes the placenta rely to attach to the myometrium. In the embryo uh, line, uh, after day seven, the embryo will start to uh, implant in the uterine, uh, in the endometrial cavity. So, with the absence of the decibel basilis, uh, the the embryo will attach directly to the myometrium. Usually, uh, the presence of residual vessels and fibrin layer will act as a thin membrane to separate between the placenta villi and the uterine wall. What is the significance? It is because the increase in maternal mobility and maternal mortality, which is maternal mortality about 2 to 7 percent, and maternal mortality 7 to 10 percent from a severe hemorrhage, infection, and uterine infection. The earliest diagnosis of adherent placenta is a must to avoid any catastrophic emergency during delivery. And antenatal diagnosis is the single most important factor in improving the outcome in morbidly adherent placenta. How to diagnose? The, the most important thing is uh, from the clinical history. So from the, the suspicion is patient pre uh, have a previous scar, previous uterine surgery, we have to suspect that may this patient may have a uh, morbidly adherent placenta. So assessment should be done to look at any evidence of morbidly adherent placenta. Other methods, uh, the, the, the other method is usually is the from the ultrasound. We can use ultrasound, color double scan, and RI or biochemical marker to diagnose placenta adherent. Which imaging modalities are necessary for the diagnosis of placenta adherent? The vast majority of cases of placenta may be diagnosed on the basis of ultrasonography alone. From the ultrasonography, this is the first line investigation for suspected placenta invasion of the myometrium, and this is the most useful modalities for evaluating placenta position and placenta implantation. From the ultrasound pictures, you can see the presence of a placenta lacuna or lacuna lake. This is highly suggestive of a uh, multiple blood vessels on the placenta bed, which highly suggestive of mobility actually in placenta. And the obliteration, the obliteration of a uh, obliteration of a clear space between placenta and the trunk wall also highly suggestive of presence of mobility actually in placenta. The sensitivity of a uh, ultrasound is about 93% with specificity, specificity of 79%. The use of power doppler, color doppler, or 3D imaging does not significantly improve the diagnostic sensitivity compared with that achieved by grayscale ultrasonography alone. Which is better, ultrasound or MRI? Can I see accuracy of both ultrasound and MRI are more similar? In person, the suspected placenta portrayal and MRI can provide information on the depth of invasion and may be particularly useful in the diagnosis of posteriorly located placenta because in a posteriorly located placenta, something like here may obscure the placenta picture from the ultrasound. In such cases, MRI can be complementary to ultrasound. In MRI, the finding to suggest placenta acuta include heterogen present of heterogeneous placenta with lacuna, placenta bulge into the upper vagal uh, space, or, uh, and poor visualization of biomarker placenta interface in the lower uterine segment. How about lab, uh, lab, uh, biochemical markers? Several series of case reports have reported that. Association between placenta accreta and otherwise unexplained elevation in the second trimester maternal serum after ketoprotein concentration of more than 2 or 2.5 multiple of median. Uh, over an elevated maternal serum after ketoprotein level support and ultrasound based diagnosis of placenta accreta, it is an inconsistent finding and it is not useful by itself for diagnosis of placenta accreta. 
how is playing a kind different in the question of the people? Does she should ideally be referred to a tertiary centre with adequate surgical facilities and a multidisciplinary team? Surgical team expertise, availability of resources and local commission for all the factors when choosing the safest procedure. So what is the different treatment? Caesarean hysterectomy is the IV. Caesarean hysterectomy is the different treatment for normally adherent placenta. Ideally, without any attempt to remove the placenta. In cases in which the placenta has been distorted and massive hemorrhage and shoe, any delay in definitive treatment may seriously compromise maternal hemorrhage. Patients with no interest in future childbearing likely will also benefit from hysterectomy without delay. Even though the surgical uh, the scissor hysterectomy is the definitive treatment, but surgery is not without difficulties. Surgical difficulties and possibility of complication in patient people directly related to the invaded anatomical area, like to the bladder, bladder or to the bowel. It's specific circulation because of cautious uh, blood circulation in a pregnancy, which will cause a potential bleeding in a placenta, morbidly adherent placenta, and the difficulty in the dissection of the organ involved. How about the conservative treatment? Is there any role for conservative treatment in placenta adhesion? In selected cases, a conservative approach may be attempted, especially in a hemodynamically stable patient with no heavy bleeding or no DIVC at time of surgery, women who desire to have more children, and in cases with placenta perpetra invading adjacent organ, especially bladder, bladder or bowel, because of the difficulty. Uh, the and in a surgical technique. However, in a patient who wants a conservative uh, treatment, patient should also be willing to accept that the outcome is unpredictable. Mobility can be high, strict and prolonged follow up is compulsory. And further intervention, especially hysterectomy, will often be necessary. The conservative approach may be combined with administration of uterotonic drug, intraoperative uterine devascularization, or pelvic arterial embolization by interventional radiology. The use of prophylactic antibiotic may be considered, and use of adjuvant methotrexate, even though no convincing evidence to suggest its use, may be used in this condition. Optimal, there is no guideline exists regarding the optimal post delivery follow up. Postpartum hemorrhage may happen up to 105 days after the initial procedure. Serial ultrasound to assess placenta involution and frequent visit to screen for delayed date hemorrhage and early sign of sepsis is very, very important. Hmm? 